Portland, Oregon, the punk rock capital of the West Coast. From the 1970s through the Reagan years and still strong today, Portland has always had a vital, vibrant underground music culture. This is PDX Punk Scene Review, your all-access pass to the high-energy world of Portland punk rock. Each month, we will bring you the best in local music, news, events, and more from the city that George Bush called Little Beirut. I am Dave Dicton, singer of MDC, have been for 36 years. Get out! Get out! Get out! And now, in love with Punk Scene Review.
don't need a pedal anymore. It's all fucking distorted from here on out. <laughs> Are we all just a distortion grind band anyway? I mean, come on now. Uh, well, hey, thank you guys for so coming out here tonight in support of everything. You ever me? It's really appreciate This is awesome. Coming up here, getting to play. It's all about, man. It's all about the scene. We're coming together for people. Yeah. Getting out here playing. You guys are coming together for something great. Right. That's awesome. That's yeah, fucking awesome, man. Check out those t-shirts over there, too. We picked up a couple. We got a great we had. We don't have t-shirts, but yeah, dude, that's so fucking cool. Cheers! Alright. Yeah, let's get a fried chicken. Uh, this one's called The Only Thing Harder Than My Life. Or Dark Souls. It's the other way around.
Don't bother with the rest of the album, it fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, I guess you get a shitty new one now. You so. voted for the cover, but you get both. I also have to start this one. Two for one on shitty songs today. Two for one. Two for one sale. <laughs> that song's called F and A, bro. No one no small dick in my corner now. Only one big dick in my corner now.
One, two, three, go. Um, I need a pen and a piece of paper. I'm Zach. I'm the bassist. We've been a band for, what, a year and a half? Yeah. Yeah, roughly like January of last year or something. Um, Abigail, I play the drums and backup vocals. Uh, I'm Mike. I play guitar and I do vocals. Liquor. <laughs> Here's an acceptable answer. Opiates amount. Yeah. Uh, we've all just kind of been friends for a really long time, and then none of us, well, you were in a band at the time playing yeah. bass. Yeah. And uh, we just kind of got drunk one day, we hanging out, and wrote some music, and do 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 fast We forward. talked about starting a punk band for probably two It was a long time. You and I would bullshit about it forever. Never, actually did it. We were all going to switch instruments, so, yeah, that so was we were going to do every song we going to switch everything. instruments. We decided we should keep practicing about how terrible. I mean, I mean, with our current <laughs> level, you know, we should stick to what we're doing. Yeah, this, yeah. Get better at our instruments. Yeah. We wrote one song, one song and fucking played it 30 times. Yeah. yeah, it was terrible. And then we never stopped. Or played that song again. Or played that. <laughs> it's on volume one. It's on volume one yeah. if you want to listen to it. Don't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Party punk. I still don't like that thing. <laughs> I don't prefer party punk. Pop punk, essentially. Pop punk. punk rock. Yeah. If you want to party, listen to our music. I try to rip off a lot of different artists. And <laughs> yeah. It's in different quantities, so it becomes a monster. It's something that uh, it's hard to identify, I guess. I just want to play jazz. De it's definitely pop punk. I mean, yeah, it's, it's been, the we've been it's described as Ramones-esque. Yeah, we actually get that a lot, which is kind of yeah, kind of crazy. Don't put me on that pedestal. Don't put me on yeah, that pedestal. Yeah, no, don't get off that pedestal. Interesting moment. Yeah. Gosh, every moment, really. Well, That's Zach spit on the window on the freeway the other day. <laughs> yeah, with the window rolled up. With the. Oh shit! <laughs> I, th I thought the cool. window was down and it spit just right. <sighs> that was fun. What else happened besides? Spit? Um, we slept in that one band's uh, backyard slash yes. forest. Karen Cross. And that was crazy. Yeah, like right before we go to sleep, too, they're like, "Oh, and don't be wandering off. There's like a cougar around here." <laughs> <laughs> like, that's fucking great news to know right before we go to sleep. <laughs> Uh, that was funny. Then they actually ended up uh, playing with us the Lavoyer and Olympia the day after. Yeah. Dude, and they shredded. Yeah, that they was were a good bands show. dropped. They were, they were amazing. They were sick, dude. I was mad impressed. My name is Dino Dan. I, I just really like music, I guess. I'm sure you guys have a similar answer. Yeah, and it's all the money. It's dude, <laughs> all the hookers and blow. All it's the insane. <laughs> Where, what party have you been at, man? You, you weren't, it was when you fell asleep yesterday. Oh, man. I'm never happier than I am with these two hooligans over here playing <laughs> stuff that we love, like, honestly. I go through a, a wide range of sane. emotions. It keeps me sane. I do for love sure, you guys, dude, For sure, For sure. I love you too, man. Yeah. Thanks, that was cute. Mm, thanks. Uh, yeah, really just the love for the music and just having fun, you know, and getting to go kind of on vacation, kind of just bum around and have some fun, with, you know? The people I love, the people I have to do yeah. what we're doing with, you know? It's great. It's fun. It's pretty sweet. It's great. <laughs> People are super supportive and nice. And yeah, we actually we have like quite a little handful of like little house venues that kind of pop up. They like pop up for a little bit, simmer down, pop up, simmer down. But do like there's always a house show to play. Uh, thanks to Majin Kula, I'm there. He's freaking a beast. And yep. Uh, everything. He fucks doom, everything good. They get everything. Doom metal, do electric. Everything good in the area, man. Raw punk to <laughs> seen a little bit of everything. House shows like that are the best music. when you get a mix, you'll get like an electro band and a yeah. <laughs> deathcore band and then us playing pop punk at some point. Yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah. It's fun. Any band needs to when come we, through, hit us up and yeah. we'll see what we can do to get you a show. When we have roll to play venues, we have to roll into Boise usually. Yeah. Boise's not, got a good like venue scene, but because like yeah, that's our actual the only one in the area. Yeah. It doesn't really have like a venue venue really. Mainly house shows. You play the yeah. monkey bar, dude. <laughs> yeah, the monkey bar. Go I played that with my metal band. <laughs> I played with my metal band, too. Yeah. Oh, every In metal the parking band lot? There. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. fuck yeah, the parking, parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think the big one's the EP. Yeah, we just really started EP. The easy cheesy EP. Um, was it six tracks? Six tracks. It's got one old one on it from our very first release of Two C Cheese Punks Volume One, which is a DIY, DIY album, along with the second one. 
And then this is what we went into a studio for, um, Octacorn Records with Sam Gates. Shout out to Sam. Yeah, he took care of us, that's for sure. And then, yeah, so the newest one just came out, Easy Cheesy P. We're selling it online for like five bucks and such, as well as at the shows. Like tonight, what is that, Portland? Yeah. Which I guess is. What are we hitting now? We just hit. We just hit silver, and then it's gonna be gold soon, right? Is that what it's gonna be? I've been tracking the stats, dude. The only gold I have is in Pokemon. Like I think at the show last night we sold what two? So we're getting close. (laughs) Yeah, we did we sell two? I think we sold two. That's awesome. I gave one away. Well, I mean, we probably gave away just as many. (laughs) You guys are funny. And then the next two shows. Yeah, yeah. then we're playing Spokane on this upcoming Friday. Which I don't know is... how much we can advertise that. I don't know how big the party's going to be, you know? We'll see. It, it could get band. bigger, I guess. It's going to be ourselves. huge. We could destroy it's... that house. Have you seen Project X? <laughs> but no, we did this whole thing ourselves, like this whole show, everything, you know? We just... From the ground up. We just went for it. Start calling people, calling venues. Put ourselves out there. Shouting out on Facebook and such. Make a name for ourselves and have fun doing it. It starts with liquor again, probably. <laughs> yeah, it's, good. it's a good place to start. I, th- I think we have two ways we write songs. Oh. We have one Hi, you're where... drunk. <laughs> we have one where someone has an idea, you know, whether it be a vocal idea or a melody, and we can go off that and create something, or we have, we get wasted. And we just like that's a good idea, and we just go with it. And we just those are my song. favorite ones. Our, our, not our not only they're our favorite ones, but everybody else loves those. So we just too. get like drunk, like somebody says something dumb in the kitchen, you know, or like uh, like I drank less than a lot last night, and we yeah. just kept saying it, and then the next thing you know, we we're trying to write a song, I and drink then less than a lot, lot less, and it just came out, and we're like, okay, I really like that. That's freaking Dissect that's that funny, thing. yeah. That's funny. <laughs> what was the last one we wrote before the newest one? That was Dark Souls, right? Oh, yeah. it was it was like, I like the, the newest one we just wrote. So Dark Souls, was kinda, bro. Dark Souls, we kind of sat down and wrote, and then yeah. FNA Bro is one of those that, like you said, yeah. we just took yeah. off yeah. when we were drunk. Yeah, so our buddy came over, and he, he drives Uber, and he took us all home one day, and he's like, you guys should write a song about not wanting small dicks in your point well, We were talking about super bad, that stupid quote. Yeah. Uh, it's like, you ever seen a vagina by itself? Not for me. Not for me. <laughs> you should write a song about small dicks in your porno. I don't want no small dicks <laughs> in my porn. Shout out to Jonah, man. Everybody's it's been awesome. loving that song. Yeah, Jonah, we've, that's we've fucking We've been funny. playing it on tour. It's everyone's favorite Everyone's song. favorite. It's stupid. Only want big dick in my porno. Makes me not want to try it. I just want to fucking <laughs> shit right. out a song at you every it's time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's, That's it's, all what just kind of shit out, shit out our dicks, and it just happened. Oh, dude, you know when it's perfect though, when it fills the bowl just right. Like, yeah. But those are the best yep. ones, the ones that everyone just, you know, it's Dino on the Dan, moment. Bastard. Everyone's having a good time, and he just filled time. They're written like that, and we just kind of, we always adapt to it, you know, and create, yeah, they grow, add they a little bit. But it really sometimes just... we take some from it, you know. Maybe it needs to be simpler. Been learning a lot. Yeah. Only finding our sound. The songs always evolve too. Like once we get playing them for a little bit, you know, then that's when they really like. There's always like an outline, and then it kind of just fine tunes itself into like the song in the end. Even like, the EP is changing the more we play. Yeah, yeah. even the EP, even the EP is different. It's now. slow as fuck because we're tired all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something about oh, sleeping yeah, in a van. Or something, you, know? <laughs> you guys would come see my punk band. Dude. Dude. <laughs> 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 Ugh. That's how we write songs. Mm. <laughs> That's how we write songs. <laughs> Screeching weasel. Screeching weasel. Screeching weasel. Screeching um. weasel. <laughs> those are all the answers? Screeching, uh, yeah, Screeching, Screeching weasel. weasel. Screeching weasel. It's because uh, fucking my idols. Yeah, they're I ripped freaking, them off big time. So. They're freaking funny, dude. That's for damn sure. Man, I don't know. That's a tough question. Um... Goodness gracious. Um, I don't know that band. Pass. Yeah, goodness gracious. Pass. You just pass? pass? No, I, I don't think I've yeah. heard of that band. I don't think I've heard of that band either. Or we got um, uh, I'd say just uh, System of a Down. How about that? Because they're kind of the band that kind of got me into music when I was a little religious kid. Oh, yeah. And uh, then they were like, hey. It's a good one. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to just do Cake. Cake. Sounds Dude, great cake. right now. I want to see him live. Wow, we are all across the board on answers. I want to play him. Yeah, what, what new metal, punk, and cake is cake. I love cake. I love cake.
thank you. Yeah, dude, yeah, for sure. The support, they're, they're great. Did our fans? Why weren't you at the show friends? last night? Yeah, why weren't <laughs> you to go to the why show? Why did you night? guys drive all the way up Alvaro, here? Alvaro, jeez, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, definitely thank you to the two ladies too who came out and actually. Yes. Um, I should probably James. thank my wife for yeah. coming up and keeping me <laughs> sane for a day. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, seeing them up here and whatnot, and seeing our friends up here too that came out to the shows and saw us. I've been yeah. seeing in a while. Oh yeah, Danny. yeah. And, uh, Everyone that housed Danny, us. Shane, yeah. Yeah, Danny, Shane's Shane, gonna yeah. marry me in a few months. That's He's gonna marry you? I thought yeah. you were getting married to Leah. <laughs> oh. He's gonna marry me though. Oh, well, that works. You can't get double married, do you? You can't get double married. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Uh, bed. Back to work, Back probably to work. for a little bit, you know, theoretically. We literally talked about it on the way here. We're going to try to hit California maybe this winter. I'm, dude, I'm living moment by moment. I'm not thinking about anything until I get out of this situation right now. <laughs> yeah, it's been we're pretty hot. We're having the time of our lives. It's been hot, but. For sure, though. Every day is bliss, blissful and awesome. I mean, it has a stressful moment, obviously. Me, me, we, we got a couple nice of shows. And got a couple of shows next month in town, so we just cool. do a yeah, bit of practice. Get some covers recorded and maybe hit the road again. We do have a couple shows back in Boise. That's right, huh? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That house show and then that Shredder show. That'll be fun. It's going to be a piece of cake compared to all in all. I feel like we have one more show than that. But. Doesn't matter. Yeah. We're going a million miles an hour, and I don't think we plan on stopping really yeah. anytime soon. Hopefully next stop California, then, like you said. That'd be fun. You know, just a little week tour. A little weekend warrior. Yeah. yeah. So if you hear this and you're in California, hit us up. Yeah. Yeah, hit us up. We'd love to play. Or drink a beer. That, I'd be fine with that too. I'd drive. I mean, we don't even have to play. One million miles to drink a beer, probably. <laughs> I definitely would. Well, million. luckily, you only have to walk about I 40 feet, buddy. I don't know how far it is. <laughs> you said it was tour, not beer. <laughs> Camp, iTunes, Spotify, Google, Google Play. Play. Amazon, That's where I listen to it. Google Play. Amazon. Amazon. Through Facebook. Slurm Fluidy Worm, it's a pretty unique name. Yeah. You Slurm. can just email us, we'll send you a care package. Yeah, if you want some merch, like we have some merch, you know, we always take donations there. That's awesome. Uh, PayPal. Um, but also, you know, we'll also just hook you up if you want it, you know, pretty much. Yeah, send us a direct email. Uh, Slurm Forty Worm at Facebook.com. We like to trade, you too. Up. We've been trading a lot of merch. So. Yeah, like to other cool bands. Merch you want to trade. Well, like if you got yeah. CDs and shit you want us to listen to, fuck yeah, dude, I'll listen to your CD. No, dude, thanks, just, uh, for, yeah, thanks for having, having us. us out here tonight. Like, Check so, us out, you know, support your local music scene. Just go to more shows. Do your recycling. Yeah. <laughs> Brush your teeth, too. Would Brush you rather, your teeth. Would you rather go fucking see my favorite band for $120 when they come into town, or would you go support your local music scene for, like, five bucks and see awesome musicians from dude, all around? Dude, five bucks it. goes a long way, too, man. And They'll talk to you, too. I've been noticing that a lot lately. Like, <laughs> like when we honestly. make a couple bucks, I'm like, dude, like... Thank you. That's like that's like our Taco Bell yesterday. That was awesome. Oh, I was stoked. <laughs> supposed to be gas money. Hey, it was inevitably. My stomach's been not happy with a lot <laughs> of my decisions. It was gas money. I've been lifting my leg all fucking day. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? That's horrifying.
out to our world leaders, heads of state, Killer Kings!
I like a little bit more of him as well. Please. Beer for the drummer. Essential Park. <laughs> Gotta have that fucking beer. It's like Flintstones when you're a kid, you know what I mean? The little vitamins. over here all the sales from that are going to go for, to ralph so uh yeah and i'm sure that yeah, pick something up for we got the donation box right back there <laughs> remember why we're here it wasn't to see us it's to raise some money for a good cause so. <laughs> Fill her up. Hell yeah. awesome. Fill you up. I'm gonna 
so we do have a new CD out. We got a CD release show coming up on uh, August 4th at the Hawthorne Theater, all ages. We do have some uh, six dollar tickets with us if anybody wants to uh, hit us up for some cheap discount tickets. We got some with us. Six bucks, four awesome bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, back to Ralph. There's a... All you can hear is me breathing hard. I know. Fuck you. <laughs> breathing heavy. I quit everything. <laughs> oh, except for my drummer. I ain't quit him. I don't know how to quit you. You guys ready? Yep. yep. What? No! Watch out, Ray Marsh!
All right, we got three more. This next one's about standing up for your rights.
having leftover fireworks from the 4th of July. I'm kind of, kind of like going into random neighborhoods and setting up camp and just fucking blowing them all off and pissing everybody off. Yeah. The song's called The 4th of July Drive By.
Thanks to Bob Squad for also playing tonight. Thanks to Ashley for putting it all together. Thanks to the fucking fine establishment that's gonna roll out tonight. Bring out some extra tight ass merch. Ooh, there's some tight shit over there. And of course, he had a pumpkin view here tonight. That's what's up. This is our last song. This song's called um, RFID. Thank you. Thanks everyone seriously for coming out. It's gonna help Ralph a lot. Thank you. Woo!